This is Kitzer Yaimi as we continue learning Hilchais Tzitzis. We are up to the ninth simon, the ninth parak, Sif Dalid. Says the Kitzer, Mishask Shears at Tzitzis. For the time that you're tying onto the Tzitzis, Haya Nekev Rachaik Mikashir. The hole was at the right, Rachaik Mikashir was at the right distance. Vaachach Nikrak Sasa Nekev. This is a very common case. So you have the corner of your baguette, you have the hole where the tits are supposed to be, everything is good. But then the hole tears a little bit. So the end of the talus phrase, And now it's less than the minimum distance. We spoke out it has to be at least, <clears throat> uh, the whatever that number is, that inch, or somewhat away from the end of the garment. It's not possible. The tire was not makvish loti atitza tachas akana. Tit does not be under the corner. El bishas asiyah only when it's made. Shenemar is a basa v'aslam tit zal kan ve big day. So very important alach. So the tit is begged ripped. They're still hanging. So as long as it's still in your garment, it's kosher. You should sew around that hole. So it's not going to go less than the shear of that one thumb. So it's kosher, but it's better to try to avoid this. The reason why this is important is because if it's kosher, then it can be fixed. Then it can be sewed back up, and then the hole could be reinforced, and your tzitzis are fine. But if it rips completely off, then everything is possible, then there's no way to fix it without putting on completely new tzitzis. Continues the kids are sif. Hey, just a little bit of akdam over here. That article gives us that the Torah uses the word gedilim in dvarim and tzitzis in bamidvar. And from here we learn gedilim is braided, tzitzis is strings. So how much of each do we need? No yim lasis ba titis, the minig is to make in the titis, chamishak sharim kfulim. Five sets of double nachish, name araba chuliois, four spaces in between. So four spaces are going to be the wound strings, and then you can have the knots in between. The hainu, which is, shemachlis is araba chutin, toichanek. If you put your four strings into the garment, those four strings go through the hole down the other side. And then you tie it with two knots, which, by the way, we just learned that when you look at your tzitzis and you see eight strings, really, what are you looking at? Really, you're looking, of course, at four strings. We'll see a picture in a moment. And then you tie, you wind, excuse me, you wind around the long string that is called the shamash. Sheva kriches, v'chayzer kaisha shneik sharem and two knots, v'shuv karech shemayne kriches and eight, kaisha shneik sharem, two knots, karech achas aser kriches, eleven windings around, v'kaisha shneik sharem, karech shlesha aser kriches, kaisha shneik sharem. So, if we look at this picture, what we see so perfectly is you have two knots, then you have seven, two knots, eight, two knots, 11, two knots, 13, and then two knots. So seven, eight, 11, 13. And just once we have this picture open, let's just point out something else that this picture is showing us before we read it inside. The picture is showing us the length that the knotted and the winded portion has to be one third of the tzitzis. And the hanging portion is two thirds. The way you can measure this is if you take the hanging portion, you double it over, that should be the same size as the knotted portion. That would be a way to figure out that you have this two-thirds versus one-third. Continues the Kitzer. It's beautiful for the Tzitzes. You want everything to be symmetrical. And the first one, they only have seven. So if you have seven bindings around, then you want that to be the same thing as 13 bindings around. How do you do that? So in the seven, you make it looser. You distance a little bit. A little bit more closer. What's the measurement of the full length? From the top knot to the end of the strings. So your minimum size of your string of your entire thing with the knot to the end of the tassel 
is 12 Aigadailim, which you look on the note 40 over here, it tells us 9.6, 11.4 inches. We'll use the number 10 inches to make it simple. Vanayu. Now, what's the noy? So, very careful. The, the din is 10 inches. The beautification is what we said about one third and two thirds, which means, of course, it's not going to be Le'ikuva. Sheikola Chulia is Biachach Lish. All the wrappings around should be a third of the whole thing. Vachuta Tulim and the hanging part is Shnei Shlishim. That is the Lechatrila. And in note 41, it points out for the Mishtabura, as we just said, that if, even if it's not the way that we just said it, it's still going to be kosher b'diavid. Okay, therefore, yitak tu shetei kol cholia k'reich v'ay godel. Each cholia, each wrapped around with the notch, the size of one thumb. Yeah, kol ha cholia is ar bagadulin. So then you have four of those, seven, eight, eleven, thirteen. If each one is one thumb, that gives you four thumb lengths. V'achut ha-matzalim, shavon ha gadulin. Then the hanging part is eight. Eight and four is going to be your... 12. If it's longer than 8, then the knot should be a little bit longer. It's good to be careful. Now, this is a nice hack that the Kitzer teaches us. All the boys keep saying this that it's good that you have your four and you have your four. That you should keep them separate as you go about making your tzitzis. I think one sip you gimel, and this is going to help us if there's ever going to be a tear in our tzitzis. And the way that you do this, if anyone is making tzitzis, is again, you have your four strings, it's going through your baguette, and your four on either side. The way to do it is at the end of one of the fours, what you do is you tie a slip knot. So it always keeps those four together. So then as you go through it and you tie a knot, the four and the four always stay on the same side. Continues the Kitzer and Siv Vav about Allah of Tassel and Asa that we saw already yesterday. <laughs> if one did not cut the strings at the beginning of the process, <laughs> one very long string, we folded into four. <laughs> then you took this very long string, folded it into four, put it into your garment, and now it's eight. And then you tied all of it, and only afterwards did you cut them. <laughs> Has to be made as gedilim darshin and tas have a loy mina also can be already made. Pirush the bino she had tzitzis b'shas asios and al begit has to be separate tzitzis when you put on the garment kelach of loy sheyei nasa b'psol you can't make it when it's possible. Vachal chikshu aydei mais shenim su asuin karoi the zehu possible. And our school gives us a beautiful picture over here. You see this all one long string. Then afterwards you would snip the ends. That is not good. Vachain and similarly am aizat tzitzis you kitikuni mean everything good. I'll beg it after on one garment, but Nikra I beg it on the garment or so now you want to take the whole corner. Veratul Asi Zatitza Kach be beg it after. You want to put that onto another garment, and then you'll sew up the garment. I have feel beg it there even back of this garment. Kigoyin Shadif Zagatal is the garment tour in the corner. I mean a neck about a suffer like we started the shear talking about, but you didn't save it. It tore all the way, and now it's out. Venifsa Venafla Zitza. And the tits fell off. Ratz Achzilim, come, you want to put it back. And then, Vlitzvar is a talis on the neck. And then you want to sew up the garment. Zehu kam kein pasal, Misham tase, Veloi mina asli. Vachin a third case. In Kesha, it's like tits, you tie the tits. Misha, Shaya talis, that potter, Mina tits, that time that it was pot. Kegoyin, for example, Shaya rubai tafer, the whole side of the garment was sewed up. And after you made the tits, which we said is no good in the beginning of this sim, Hit, I mean, that's Then you untie, then you undo the stitches. That's your petuach to open it. The chayv of tits is now obligated. And these shards, tits, come on, shame. And tits are left the way that it was. Gan came, sulim, shem, tas, ev, loy, mina, osli. Ella, what do you do? Shark, la, ha, there is that tits. You have to unwind, untie all of them. La, solution, kalacha, kach, kol, ki, yitzi, vizem. Meaning the strings are still kosher. This is always the case. You can always untie it and put it on something else and fix it. Obviously, it's very difficult because the strings are all, you know, crumped up. But that is allowed. Continues the kids are in Sif Zayin. Kodim she yizate with towels before one puts on a towel. See if the kids titties. You should check your titties. And main shares of the air cultures are lived at gamis achut and shem and You should check the strings in the holes. Vez akrichos and the wrapped around. And the wrapped around portion. Uh, and the wrapped around portion on the bottom of the point that I important alacha that if you're making the bracha on a different begah that you don't need to. For example, a married person 
that's wearing a towel's cotton and he makes a bracha on his towel's cotton, he would not need to check it. Began the effort as a chutin, you should separate the strings, they shouldn't all be stuck to one to another. But this is going to cause one to come late. You're going to miss tefillah b'tzivor. You don't need to do that. Of course, it's because you have a chazaka that it's kosher. You should check it, but if one's going to be late, you do not have to. Call on mitzvah, so we continue with Sibchas. Says the kids are kol on mitzvah. Every mitzvah that you do, mevarchan alein, you make a bracha on them. Over last years before you do it, pirush koy demasiyah, ulachay a bracha, and after the bracha, take it from miad, and after we recite the brachas, our last is a mitzvah. You have to do the mitzvah right away. Lachay, therefore, how do you put on a talis? Also, there's talis b'shtei yad of your talis with two hands. You have it, and you think sheti ivanu akadish baruch hu lezatei vatzitzis. Hashem commanded us to put on tzitzis. Today, why we put it on sits is very important. Shinisker, it's called a mitzvah, it's kulam. Last ice, you have to remember all the 613. When you see them, you remember the mitzvah of Hashem. When you make the bracha standing, then after the bracha, not sometimes you see people, they put it on and then they make the bracha. No, you hold your talis. You make the brach, then you put it on. It goes down over your head until your mouth. Then you bring the corners onto your neck. And on the bottom of the point, you put the scissors over your left shoulder. You say this way to work for Amos. We did a video on this one time, if anyone wants to see. Very important that when you do it, you don't wrap up the whole talus like a scarf, but rather one part of your body, because Etof is only one part of your body, is wrapped with your talus. You don't want to drag the tits on the ground. You let it push it into your belt. We're going to stop over here. We're going to pick it up from Siv Tess in the next year. Bisiyata Vishmaya.